there, welcome. I'm hosting a virtual studio tour today since we're not able to have the annual Maple Ridge studio tour. I thought I would welcome you to my studio by a video. So come and join me. Welcome to my backyard studio. Uh, it's not a big space, but it's a really fabulous space. It was actually a shed. Uh, that my husband Ren turned into this beautiful space. So uh, prior to this on our other homes I was always working on the kitchen table or in a spare room um, And here I've got a space that's separate from the house. My commute to work is about 10 steps from our house So I really love it in here and come on in and let me show you around Welcome inside This is uh, my work desk uh, where the action happens. Sometimes if I'm doing a smaller piece, I'll work on my desk, which was actually a really beautiful piece of wood. Um, and now it's covered in paint. So uh, that's okay, it's a workspace. And if we look out my window here, um, I've got some nice trees and that out the window, nice plants. So I'm really grateful for the view that I have. Um, I love these cups here. Paint water, not paint water. Really important to uh, differentiate the two. I'm often painting or dipping my brushes into the paint water. So, and we'll come around here. And this is actually a big commission that I'm working on. It's a 40 by 60 inch. It's done and I'm gonna be delivering it to my customer really soon. Uh, there's my little cart that I keep all of my dirty rags in. Actually, my rags end up being kind of like these little pieces of art. So I could actually make something out of these eventually, I think, <laughs> which would be kind of neat. Uh, if we have a peek, I'll let you guys peek in behind there. This is where I keep all of my canvases. So I paint mostly on wood canvas, um, so wood panel. It's made of birch wood, and that's what I'm doing most of my work on right now. I think it works really well with the work that I'm making that has to do with trees and nature. And this is kind of the wall of sort of pieces that I've already finished. I don't have a lot of room in here for storing paintings and so a lot of them end up going in my house as well, but let me give you a closer look at some of these. So the pieces I have here on display in my studio are part of my Wisdom Whispers collection, which is my new series. Um, a lot of my work sort of is a continuation on of past work that I've done and what I've been most well known for are tree roots and exposed tree roots. The idea of how those are our stories and where we've come from and we want to expose them and share them and so in my newest work in Wisdom Whispers um, the backgrounds are abstract and then I find the force within the abstract and within then I then overlay it with white line work trees and the line work trees I'm leaving transparent and the idea behind that is that the backgrounds are shining through so the stories are shining through where we've come from is shining through and we should be really proud of that. And so that's kind of an evolution of that original concept of mine of the tree roots. You'll notice there's still some tree roots in these pieces as well. Um, I'll do a little pan around to show you them a little bit closer. Um, and you can see all of them in their details on my website as well. So I hope you enjoy them. side of my studio. I'm going to take you outside now. I have some things set up, um, prints and cards and bags, and then I've got some of my bigger paintings out in the garden. Normally, if you come to the studio tour, I'd also have some treats, uh, some appetizers and things for you. We don't have that today because that's harder to do virtually, but if you join me another year, there's always good snacks too. So let's go check it out. <laughs> some of my reproduction items all set up here. Pillows, cards, uh, prints, ornaments, and bags, and I'm going to give you a closer look at all those items. 
Okay, first I want to show you my bags. Uh, they make a really nice gift. They make a nice gift for birthdays, uh, Mother's Day coming up. And I've got two different styles that I offer. Um, so the crossbody stretchy and the tote. And they come in, the tote comes in four different styles. The crossbody stretchy comes in two different styles. So let me show you what the difference is. The crossbody stretchy one is very stretchy. You can actually fit a ton of stuff in them. And they, um, I use it as a beach bag, I use it as a gym bag, and it's got an adjustable strap on it. And I like to wear it crossbody so you get that nice support. Um, and it shows the art really nicely, especially when it's all stretched out. So uh, that's a nice, a nice option. They're a really soft material as well. And that one comes in the Arbutus tree as well as the birch tree. So those are two pretty options. And then the second option as far as style goes is the tote bag. So I actually use this one as my purse. Uh, it is lined inside, it has a uh, magnetic closure, it has a zipper inside, po extra pockets inside, and a vegan leather strap. And again, shows the artwork really nicely, very fashionable. Uh, it won't fade, I've had mine for about a year and a half, very durable, um, it's kept up really well. So those are really nice and make a super nice gift. Um, and those ones come in the four styles. So we've got the Arbutus tree, We've got this one here, which is called Nature Escape, really pretty color. We have this one here with the birch trees, for all you birch tree lovers like me. And this one here is called Come Together, that's the tree roots. That's the original one that I first did, and um, it's got the brown straps as opposed to the black straps. So these are made in Canada, which really makes me happy they're very well made and you can buy them on my website next I want to show you my pillows uh, so my pillows are again designed by me with my artwork on them and made in Canada um, and they make a really nice accent to your couch and your space if you don't have wall space they're a nice little way to add some extra color and some art um, these two Arbutus ones actually go kind of nicely together on a couch separate we have them on our couch with some mustard pillows in behind them they look really nice um, so I have four different designs for the pillows so I have the two Arbutus and then I also have come together again the nice tree root one with that beautiful teal color and the birch trees so for those of you that love teal and turquoise as much as me, then this will might be your thing. Um, and so you can purchase my pillowcases on my website again, and they do come as just the case. So they'll come uh, like this. They are double-sided as well, which is really nice because they look good from all angles. They have um, a zipper closure on them as well. And they are a really nice quality. They won't fade. I've had customers who put them outside and they haven't faded. Um, and they don't they don't rub off they're not screen printed so they they won't rub off so um, again made in Canada these are 18 inches they fit an 18 inch pillowcase if you have one at home uh, and a little tip they also fit the 20 inch IKEA um, $5 pillows really nicely because the $5 pillows don't have as much stuffing in them uh, it's the 20 inch one fits better but that's a hot little tip if you're looking for inserts for these guys so again um, you can purchase these on my website and they make a lovely gift for birthdays and Mother's Day etc so hope you like them next I want to show you some of my greeting cards so all of my cards are five by seven they're blank inside, so they're great for lots of occasions. I have lots of different images available on my website. These are just some of them. Some of my favorite ones, and they're really nice right now to be sending out to our friends and family while we're thinking of them and want to support them from afar. Everybody loves getting snail mail, so this is kind of a nice thing uh, to be able to offer. And they are buy five, get one free on my website, and you can select the images when you do that on my website. They're great for Mother's Day coming up and birthdays. So. Um, the hummingbird's always very popular. And then next we have my matted prints. So I have two different sizes. I'll give you a little look here. So I've got these ones which are, it's an 8 by 10 print which is actually matted to 11 by 14. So fits an 11 by 14 frame. And then I've got the larger size which are 16 by 20. 
and so an 11 by 14 print matted to 16 by 20. So they're both a standard frame size. So you could get a frame for them at Michael's, um, maybe you have one at home, so you're not having to spend a lot on custom framing. I'll give you a quick little look through some of the images. So the hummingbird, birch trees, that one's really pretty with the nest. Lots of trees. <laughs> trees are definitely my thing and I think trees are a lot of many people's things too, so especially Arbutus trees. And these are some of my larger ones. These tree roots again. This one here, the Four Seasons tree, this is one of the images I first started selling, um, gosh, about 13 years ago, and it's still one of my best sellers. People really love the idea that it transfers through the Four Seasons. It makes it a really interesting piece. So that's one of my classics. And then I've got some of my new images as well. So again, you can order those on my website. And if we head over this way, we can see now my ornaments. So these are my art printed on wood and they're nice lightweight. They're actually printed on wood. So you can see that they're made for me in Vancouver. So I designed them and then they're made in Vancouver, made locally. So I really like that. Um, and I originally started making them as Christmas uh, ornaments, but people started buying them year round, especially these images that are not so Christmassy. So um, they make nice gifts as well. And you can get those also on my website. Okay, now I want to show you the paintings that I have set up around my yard. So join me on a tour of some of my larger paintings. So this is the first painting I want to show you. It's called Forest Whispers, and it's actually from my Wisdom Whispers collection, which I was explaining earlier. It has that abstract uh, forest background, and then I'm including the transparent white line work trees in it. Um, this one I really love on the round canvas just add something a little bit different because a lot of us have you know squares or rectangles in our homes and so adding a different shape can really stand out and be unique. Um, all of my original work right now I'm leaving the wood partly exposed because I really like including that as part of the painting um, and I think it fits in really well with the forest theme the tree theme that I have going on so why not? This piece is a little bit of a different color palette for me as well, and I'm really enjoying working in these colors. There's sort of this deep, sort of purpley color in here, which is a bit unusual for me. So um, you might see more of that for me because I'm really enjoying that. So let's go along and see the next one. So this piece here is called, um, what's it called? Forest bathing. <laughs> um, forest bathing is something that I love to do. Forest bathing means spending time out in the forest, not necessarily just walking through, but really taking your time and taking it all in and observing what's really going on. Uh, the fungus, the roots, all the different flora and fauna that's happening. And so it's one of my favorite ways to spend time. Um, and it's definitely a big piece of inspiration for my work. I often feel really recharged after I spend some time in the forest and want to head into the studio and paint right away. Um, I don't paint from photos. I don't paint from a particular place. I kind of go around collecting all kinds of inspiration from things and plug them in together into the piece I'm working on. Um, so this piece here is quite a large one. It's 40 inches, uh, 40 by 40. It's my personal favorite from the, my new collection. There's just something about it that makes me feel like I could walk right inside of the piece and be sort of hanging out back there in the forest. Um, a little bit of a different color palette for me again as well, so really enjoying using some new colors. And again, some of that wood exposed, some of the wood grain is actually coming through as well, so it's really pretty that way. Let's go on and check out the next painting. So this is the next painting I wanna show you. It's called Better Together. And I actually had a contest on my uh, social media to name this painting, and that was the painting that um, we decided on. So this is a collaboration piece that I've done with my husband, Ren. He's actually added the metal fish. So all the fish in here is actually made of hammered copper. And the reason that we chose the Better Together name is for a couple of reasons. One is we made it together. So when we make things together, they're often better. Um, the other is the symbolism of, you know, the forest working together, the school of fish working together. Um, those things work better together as well as us as communities and people if we come together it's a better thing as well so we thought it was a really fitting name 
Um, so Ren and I have done quite a few pieces now that combine the metal work in it. Um, and that original idea came from, Ren was making me a pair of earrings that were shaped like leaves. And I said, could we add that to my painting? Because of course I was painting a tree. And uh, so we figured that out and um, it's evolved. We've been doing these paintings for probably about eight years now and they've become a bit more detailed and we've tried different things with them. The idea for the fish actually came um, last year we were in the Philippines and we were doing a lot of uh, snorkeling and some of the snorkeling was actually underwater around some tree roots and there was really beautiful fish as well. So um, we thought we have to go home and paint something like that. So this is actually the second one that we've done that has the fish in it. So um, this one is 30 by 60 inches again on wood. A lot of the wood left exposed in the background. And again, I could see myself kind of getting into that painting and hanging out back there as well. So let's head on to the next painting. Really lucky to have such beautiful weather today. Uh, there are some noises happening, but I think that that is just, you realize how many noises happen in your backyard when you're filming a video. So sorry about that. Uh, so this next painting, um, I really like it because it's painted on a linen canvas. So um, this part here, this tan color, is actually the linen canvas coming through. So this is a canvas that is not uh, bleached, and so it's that raw kind of organic looking material. Um, and so I think it looks really pretty. And so it was too pretty for me to cover up, so I wanted to use it as part of the actual painting. Um, and this, this painting is actually called Wisdom Whispers, which is the title piece for my uh, collection. Every winter I actually put together a new collection of work, because um, in the winter is when I have most amount of time to paint. And so this was the first piece that I did in that collection, and, and uh, that's why it has the title name as well. Um, I've used a lot of Payne's Grey and some deeper blues in this piece, which again is a little bit unusual for me, but I'm enjoying those colors. So as you can see, I'm branching out uh, to use some different color palettes and really enjoying that. So let me show you the next painting. Okay, this is the next painting that I want to show you. Uh, it's called Forest Warmth and the inspiration from this one was being in the forest one day with all of that beautiful sun coming through and the warmth hitting your face and I was like I want to capture that in a painting. So. That was the idea with this piece, why it's more in that sort of yellow and gold uh, color tone. So um, again, painted on wood with some of that beautiful wood grain coming through. And a lot of my work, all of my original work actually has metallic paint in it. So I use metallic paint because I really like the idea that it shines, looks different in different light, depends on what angle that you're at. Um, and so all within here is actually some gold paint you'll get some different shine depending on the light. So I really like the idea that it can change depending on the time of day. So, and that's actually what makes an original painting more unique than say a print, because you can't get that different shine of the metallic paint in a print. So that's what makes the original extra special. Okay, I've got one more painting to show you. So let's head on over. Here is my last painting that I want to show you. It's called Winter's Wisdom. Um, this piece I was very inspired to paint in the winter, which I don't often paint winter type scenes, which you might have noticed in my work, um, but I was feeling really inspired by the beauty of snow and just cool colors. Um, I really like this long tall shape. So this one is 12 by 36. So it'd be really neat on like a long skinny wall, um, in a hallway, that kind of thing. So. Um, I've always been like really into the summer and spring, but I'm starting to embrace the winter a little bit more. I think where we live here on the west coast of Canada, we get a lot of different seasons and we really get the four seasons. And so um, in the past few years, I think I'm starting to appreciate that even more. And so you might just see me painting a few more winter type scenes. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today on my virtual studio tour. I hope I get to see you in real life for the studio tour next year and at an art event soon. Until then, take care and thank you so much for joining me. Have an awesome day. Bye.